So come with me to my little garden in the back. It is now spring and we are sequestered in the house. Look at my beautiful bleeding hearts. I just decided I wanted to paint these. So I'm gonna take you with me on my journey, on my nature walk. I decided on this and I created this beautiful painting. So I wanna show you how I did it and very simple and I hope you enjoy it. So thank you for joining me on my journey outside to paint back inside in my studio. and thank you for joining me in my studio. This is Cheryl and this is the finished painting in my journal with a mat over it just to kind of show you what you could do if you wanted to actually frame a piece that you've done. So I started my studio with a um, the photograph on my iPad and you see it there the bleeding hearts in front of me and I'm very abstract so it's not you know I'm not going to get the the leaves and things right uh, I do everything very abstract and um, it's just kind of a reference and inspiration so I take a piece of paper and just put it underneath the sheet that I'm going to be working on just because I'm pretty sloppy and it helps so it doesn't bleed to the sheets underneath and I just start by playing on the paper and I will in a second spray some water on there and uh, kind of get things activated but I always start with marking on my paper almost always um, any abstract any paper any project like this where it's kind of floral I always activate it with a piece of uh, uh, charcoal and then I'm just adding some of the greens and over on my palette um, you'll see when I have the camera at the different angle there I'm adding water just to activate everything it was, I have some of different greens and it doesn't matter what greens whatever greens you have in your um, supply of paints so I like the dark greens and I like a little bit of a mixture between uh, soft palette and the fluid acrylics from Goldens and uh, some from Liquitex. So just any green. I'm mixing in some white. I always love that high flow by Golden, uh, the titanium white. So I'm always adding that in. That's just to give the flow of the paint and the very freedom and to make the greens on there just mixed in with each other. I, again, this is very abstract, uh, there is no specific, um, you know, each leaf is going to be a specific color. I'm just putting paint down and I'm just playing in the paint and just enjoying how the paint just flows on the paper. That is, I believe, a 9x12 uh, journal. And I actually want to get a couple more because I have some ideas of um, uh, other adding some uh, watercolor paintings that I've done into there. There, that's the uh, green gold. I love that color. Many times I'll mix that with white on my large abstracts, but whenever I'm doing anything that's a floral, I will use the color pretty much straight and then mix it with some of the other greens because it's a beautiful, to me, it's an absolutely beautiful representation of the greens that I see when I look at any composition, floral composition from my abstract eye, the way I look at things. So I'm going to continue just to play and have fun and I'm going to let you listen to the music so that you can just enjoy um, scratching into it, brushing into it and just enjoy the uh, play of it all. <laughs> 